while that's drying, let's set it aside. And let's uh, let's set this aside and let's do what's on your easel. But Pamela French sent in a few of them. Let's see what Pamela French has going on. Art and soul complete. Four feet by five feet acrylic. Open that sucker up. That's exciting. Look at it! Goodness! Goodness, she came in. This was metallic. This is a metallic gold paint. And she came in and put some highlights on it. Look at that! Good job, Pamela! Wow! I, I think this took her a couple of years because she, like me and the bees, she got, she got frustrated with it and set it aside and came back to it. And I'm really glad she did. Look at that thing. That is so good. And then she sent in, for my next project, I decided to do a balloon painting. I'm stepping outside of my comfort box and painting with knives. I went to the Balloon Festival and I thought all the beautiful colors floating around, floating in a cobalt sky would make a beautiful addition to my large art show that is happening February 10th. So these are my reference photos. In the next email will be all of my paintings so far. So these are, these are the reference photos that she took at the Balloon Festival. I'd like to go to the Balloon Festival. That sounds like fun. I want to see the paintings, though. <laughs> and so here are the paintings. View slideshow. Here are the paintings. Up, up, and away in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. You know, sadly, those are all the words to that song I know. That's one of those songs that came out when I was a child. And while I know a lot of songs that I that came out when I was a child, that is the only one, that is the only words that I know to that song. Up, up, and away, my beautiful, my beautiful. Look at how the flags, you can see the flags actually stand off of the balloon, so it looks like they're actually on the ropes, they, on the guide ropes from the balloon. Great job. I'm going to zoom in on that and see what you can see. Can you see how they look like they actually stand off of the balloon? Good stuff. And the balloons just keep going back forever in the distance. Good stuff. I'm probably going to steal some of that. I have not seen or heard from the sexy red-headed Darcy Barb. And then, Pamela French also sends in that in the last year, my daughter was doing some craft shows and asked me if I would do some kind of art that would sell at the craft shows so that we could do that together. So between the two of us, we decided that greeting cards would be something that people would buy and could write special messages in that could be then kept forever and framed as an original piece of art. So this is a result of some of them. There are many. One picture shows the setup at the craft show. Okay, well, we have a slideshow. So let's just look at the slideshow. Now some of these we've seen. She she sent some of these into us one at a time, and then and then some of these are. Ooh, that's a nice feather, and then some of them being attacked by the one of them bugs. May, is it a mayfly? I don't know what it is, but it's a big mosquito-looking bug, but it's huge. Like carry me home, feed its young. Oh, I like that one. Tire swinging in the moonlight. Butterfly on a clock. See, every time I draw a clock, it's always five minutes to midnight. Oh, I dig those trees. Look at the trees made with spatters. We're going to go through them quite, quite quickly. There's a lot of them here, and then there's the setup at the, at the craft show. There's a lot of them here. Don't worry, they will be in the newsletter. So if you subscribe to the newsletter, they will be in the newsletter. You won't miss them. And then Laura sends in, uh, not that one, this one. This week's easel, all people, even a few life models, took your example and looked online. Recommend costume when doing this exactly, right? <laughs> Be careful when you look online for uh, 
be careful when you look online for, for uh, uh, nude modeling sessions because they will post pictures. Good stuff. We have to be careful though. Ustream, Ustream will kick you off for nudity, so I have to be. I probably should have paid attention to that before I started going through it. <laughs> I probably should have, probably should have previewed that. But those again, those will all be on the uh, on the newsletter and on the website. And I heard the email go off. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody because there were some. Hey Kimberly, there were some people that uh, uh, said they might give me something later, but I don't see anything again. And there's nothing in my junk mail. Nothing in my deleted folders. And so let's get back over to mine. So on mine, you know, I'm pretty limited to what I'm doing around here because I'm, you know, still trying to come to grips with the day job and stuff. And, and since we were here Thursday, I haven't done a lot. I absolutely have not done a lot since Thursday. So here, here was today's random object. And then today's Monday. Here's Sunday's random object. Here's Saturday's random object. Here's Friday's random object. And then I think Thursday I had already done the random object when we did the show. So yeah, the Dimetrodon. There's Thursday's random object. And I really dig taking out them them little toys and, and drawing those little toys. That's that's a lot of fun. This morning This morning when I drew this one, uh, I pulled that out of the bag and I was already running late and I pulled that out of the bag and I thought, oh crap. Look at all that detail. There's no way I'm going to get that done in time. I'm going to be, I'm going to be late for work. But uh, no, I wasn't late for work. But anyway, yeah. So and then last week during the show we did the, this uh, this mini, which I showed off at the beginning, the the sunset, uh, the sunset with the tree. And honestly, there hasn't been a watercolor since then because we did the show on uh, since we did the show on Thursday last week. There, there wasn't uh, there wasn't a watercolor because I do the watercolors on Wednesdays and we did the mini live on the show so there was not not another mini to show you and uh, Tuesday what I do on Tuesday oh I do figure drawing on Tuesday and I couldn't show you that anyway uh, and so Monday we didn't do a show so I did I did some faces in my in my sketchbook and made a key shot of it I mean oh but you know it's really I still I'm still doing that. I can show you those. Um, because, ooh, be careful. Be careful. Ustream will kick you off for doing for showing nudity. So you cannot show nudity. I did nudes, and then I did some faces, and then I did some more faces, and then uh, I did some more faces. And so I'm just... I'm concentrating on I'm concentrating on faces this month for the 29 faces challenge. Ayala's Ayala's art is, does her her 20 her uh, her 29 faces challenge in February. So I, I usually try to participate in that. So I'm doing faces for this month instead of instead of uh, uh, pinups. And so. Uh, Next month, I think I'm just going to focus on eyes, and then the next month after that, I'm just going to focus on noses, and then I'll do a month of mouths, and then I'll do a month of hair. And I think, as a matter of fact, I have a plan. Yeah, too late, baby. Hopefully, I was able to get past you during sensors, sensor bot. Uh, if I'm still broadcasting, then I survived. Yes, yes, may I help you? I love you too. Is this a show? It is a show. Can I paint? Can, can you what? Yeah, you can go over there and paint. Yay. Okay, so I have this plan. I made this plan up of, of how to improve on the different areas. So I have hair, necks, backs, butts, arms, shoulders, mouths. I just broke everything down. I just want to 
concentrate on each little area. Draw an overall and then concentrate on each little area. So that's what I'm going to do for the next few months in my, in my figure drawing practice. Anyway, that is, honestly, sadly, that is, could you, yeah, that is what was on my easel. That was on, what was on your easel. If you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to, nope, it's the wrong way, blade at artisticbiker.com and we will use your works to inspire other people to do work because that's what we're all about here and it's what this whole thing's for is to inspire people to do stuff so that said this is not quite dry so we're going to dry that just a little bit and we're going to take a little break and then we'll be right back You know we don't go anywhere. We only say that for the YouTubers. Hey Blade, dinner's almost... <laughs> what, what are you wearing? Your yoga pants. Were you doing yoga? No, but I've been seeing people wear these things around the, like the airport and the grocery store and they're comfy. They're free. I can bend, I can twist, Squat down. Oh. oh, gosh, Dad, that's going to take years of therapy to get out of my brain. And maybe I bleach. You sh No. You should not wear those. No, but no, the, no one should they're comfy. wear those outside of the gym. But they're comfy. In your own house. You should... No. You should take those off. Real? No, 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 no! Not here! Look after wine, woman. The neighbors can see you. Good gosh, man. Okay. 